they're behind two of the world's most notorious terror attacks. Tonight, a chilling new account that they may have crossed paths, may have even been friends. Saeed Kouashi, the older of the two brothers who attacked Charlie Hebdo magazine, was in Yemen in 2009, according to a Yemeni journalist, and was in the same orbit with Umar Farouk Abdelmutallab, the underwear bomber. Abdelmutallab, now serving a life sentence for trying and failing to bring down a passenger plane bound for the U.S. on Christmas Day 2009. Journalist Mohammed Al-Kibzi tells CNN he spoke to Saeed Kouashi in Yemen a few years ago. Just how well did the future Paris gunman know the future underwear bomber? He knew him and uh, he lived with him in the same residence. Uh, then he accompanied us to the residence to show us uh, and showed us the room where Omar um, used to live. Al Kibsi says Saeed Kouashi told him he had roomed with Abdul Mutalab for a week or two at an apartment in Yemen's capital just a few months before Abdul Mutalab got on that flight with a bomb. Kawashi told the journalist he would pray with Abdul Mutalab. All he told us about him that he was a nice guy, and he was. Um, uh, he said he kept to be silent most of the time and do not like to doesn't like to talk to uh, people. Abdul Mutalab at that time was being trained and directed by Anwar al Alaki, a charismatic American-born leader of Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Could Kawashi have known about the underwear bomb plot then? It would have been kept compartmentalized because of the security protocols that even AQAP was uh, undergoing at that time, where you actually see Abdul Motalib move very slowly into the senior leadership. CNN cannot independently confirm the journalist's account, and U.S. and Yemeni officials say they can't confirm that Saeed Kawashi and the underwear bomber knew each other. But the accounts link two of the most high-profile attacks on the West with al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula whose master bomb maker, Ibrahim al-Asiri, also designed bombs that were discovered on cargo planes bound for the U.S. The threat to the United States from AQAP is extremely serious. Uh, hitting the United States is priority one, priority two, and priority three uh, for AQAP.